Hey, hi guys, Tamina here and for today's video we're just going to be sitting down and talking and that's scary because I've never actually done a video like this on my channel since I started it like three years ago and yeah this video oh wait for those who are new my name is Tamina and I make videos on a lot of topics and I feel like that's going to kind of change after this video so maybe just stick around and see what will happen and for those who are already subscribed welcome back T-Fam Haiti fam and <laughs> I hope you like this video it's very it's very weird like I feel like it's really weird to just sit in front of the camera and talk about what you've been feeling but I'm going to do it anyway because that's why I started this channel so today's video is going to be focused around why I started why I really started my youtube channel like three years ago because I feel like the more I've progressed I've kind of lost the reason I've kind of lost the reason and like the vision of my YouTube channel since I started it so I said my channel like three years ago and it was when I was still in high school and the reason I started it is because okay I sing <laughs> I used to sing so I wanted to do covers you know I wanted to like sing a lot of covers of other people's music and then I thought now after that I'd be recognized and then I'd be a musician and then I would be touring, you know, around the world. Uh, that didn't happen. Because when I was in high school, my final year, I was doing music as a subject. And I thought I'd love this subject, okay? That's why I think sometimes everything happens for a reason, maybe. But when I did the subject, it kind of sucked the, like, the joy that I used to have for singing. I used to sing to just express myself. And just because, you know, when you sing at a family gathering and everyone is like, you, you sing so well. Have you ever thought of, like, being a musician? So that was me. Like, every time I would sing in a family gathering, all my family members would be so, like, blown away and be like, you need to be a musician. So, that's what I wanted to do. So, what happened was, now, in my last year of high school, it really sucked the joy out of this because singing no longer became, like, for expression and for fun. It was like, hey, how many octaves can you hit? Can you hit that high note? Are you an alto but what range do you have you know that's when it's really put to the test and then i don't have like a huge range i'm really like an alto i have a better lower range than like a higher range and most people who are considered good like amazing singers were like they had like an amazing range or they were sopranos so they can hit all the high notes and you know like as a girl no one is ever like hey you can hit that low note it's like <laughs> who cares so anyway, after that, I was like, mm -mm, I'm not singing again. No, thank you. This is like sucks the joy out of me. I'll just be singing in the shower and maybe, you know, in the choir, somewhere in church. I don't know. But it was not like my priority to be a musician and sing on stage. Now, that was the only video I posted that year. <laughs> and then after that, I was like, okay, so what do I do with this channel? Because I've opened it and it had views and everyone on my instagram now knows i have a channel so i was like okay you know what we're going to diani i'm going to shoot a video so i shot a video and this is actually my favorite video that i have on my channel that and my <laughs> thank you 2018 next video those two because it was different i felt like it was so different i felt like i put myself in a video and i felt like it really channeled what i wanted to say to people or what I would, I would be like hey you guys you guys this is my video go watch it you know like it felt so nice to put out such content I didn't even know content was a word or a content creator could be like a job but I just did it didn't even know YouTube could pay I just put it out there because it was like a piece of me yeah so after that I started posting like just funny videos of what I went through in high school actually no I said this channel when I was in form 3 and then those ones I posted when I was in Form 4 during the holiday now in my last day in high school. So after that is when I came out of high school and I had a channel and I didn't know what the hell to do with this channel. It's like it's just there. It has like a few comedy skits. It has like a cover. It has like a nice video, a motivational video if you can call it that. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this thing. So I just started researching, you know, I did a lot of research. I'm like, what the hell do people post on YouTube? I, you know, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what was happening. So I started seeing, oh, people do like vlogs. I didn't know they were called vlogs. 
I started seeing people do morning routines, night routines, and I'm like, okay, that's that's new. I never thought like you could want to see someone's morning routine <laughs> or they could want to see someone's night routine, like what someone does at night. So at first it was like, wow, okay, this is new. So I absorbed it all and I was like, anyway, this is what the people are doing there. So I'm going to do that as well. Not with like any like, I want to do this, but like, just going to do it because other people do it so it's not like I'm throwing shame at the people who do it it's like they came up with it or they saw someone and they were like wow this is nice and I'd like to do it me I was just doing it because I was confused I didn't know what to do on YouTube I just did it because I was confused and uh, this is a content people like so I was like okay so I filmed those videos put them out and they even got like more views than my other videos like this ones were getting 16,000 views that's like my <clears throat> most highly viewed video 16,000 to is getting like 7.9 thousand views you know it's getting 4.2 thousand views and I'm like okay guess people want to see such things you know so that's when you start creating let's say what's popular on YouTube that's what I was doing I was just creating mindlessly it's like I was on autopilot and I just see a video idea someone else has done. I'm like okay we're, we're recording that I see someone else has done this I'm like okay we're recording that tomorrow and there was no like if someone asked me like why I wouldn't know and then one day I'm watching a video and this guy was like what do you want and ask yourself what do you want and why do you want it and I remember I was like, oh, easy, I want lots of subscribers, lots of views, that's what I want. And then when it came to why do you want it, I was like, I don't know, you know, a lot of subscribers would be nice. And you know, a lot of views w would be nice. I mean, yeah, that's all. That's when I was like, Tamina, <laughs> what are we doing? Because I remember I spent so much time like checking what views do I have how many subscribers are, do I have are my subscribers going up are my views going up mindlessly mindlessly you start watching other people's videos you're comparing yourself to those other people you start get you, you can run mad people I swear I said asking myself what am I doing wrong what are these other people doing right that I'm not doing and it was just a constant what are you doing wrong what are you doing wrong like I would stay up till like five editing a video then I'm, I put it out and it doesn't get the f the feedback you wanted and you start getting stressed you're like what what am I doing wrong okay those days I used to edit till five because I liked it you know but actually let me tell you the three reasons I said my YouTube channel was one I liked creating you know when you have a channel or when you create a video it's like exactly what is on your mind comes out like your thought becomes a thing and that was so cool to me because you know you don't have footage you're starting with like a blank canvas no footage no nothing it's just an idea like let's go here then you're recording everything okay you're recording everything and then you have to come home with lots of recorded clips which mean nothing like at the moment on your camera's memory card but then you have to take it and make like a cognitive sequence and just make something out of it and then you put out your creation and that was freaking cool to me i was like yeah sign me up i loved video editing i just loved it like i remember the first video i put out was like when i was in class like six i took my mom's nokia phone i went to the bathroom i put it there i sang a song edited some photos into like a slideshow sort of thing and i put it on youtube and then before i went to high school i was like no no Tamina, this is going to be too embarrassing. You have to delete it before high school. Before you know, people dig up your past and then you start seeing your videos being played and you're like, ah, uh, guys. <laughs> so I was like, no, I deleted it. That was actually the first reason I started YouTube. The second one was I wanted to share a piece of myself with you guys because I just wanted to, sh I don't know why. Is there a reason? I just want to share a piece of yourself with you guys because you never know who resonates with you you never know who is getting inspired by you because i've gotten some of your emails when i think i'm doing i've been on autopilot and people someone is like oh you're so inspiring i love what you're doing keep doing what you're doing and you're like okay so okay it's it's, it's inspiring someone you know so i like to share a piece of myself with you guys and just to 
inspire someone or make someone feel better or you know when you come from a long day and you just want to put on a youtube video and like zone out or just laugh or i don't know or just feel like you resonate with someone through the screen because i'm not like funny <laughs> feel like you resonate with someone through the screen and you feel like oh this person is like me have you ever watched someone and you're like oh my god this person is another me in another life it's like a sister from another mister you know it's like wow so that's what i wanted and yeah that's basically why i started it and i wanted to kind of like help someone out there motivate someone out there to do something if motivate someone else that the youtube channel i just someone had commented the other day that they started the youtube channel because of me and then yeah that's why i started it but i kind of lost the vision on the way and i just started focusing on subscribers and views i didn't even know you could get paid i just knew you could get paid like recently and I still don't know then why I was so obsessed with this because you see the thing is guys I don't want to do this as a career um, For those who don't know I do law I uh, just finished my first year in law and Honestly just to be honest. I love what it's doing to me because I've, ha I've always had a passion. I remember even when I was doing the interview to enter my to enter law school the lady asked me, the lady who was doing my interview, she asked me, um, why do you want to do law? And I remember right off the bat, my first answer was because I want to help people and victims of SGBV, sexual and gender-based violence. And this, this is, as in, it just set my soul on fire. I just want to kind of help these people with all the knowledge and all the skills and the authority that I will acquire from my course that I'm doing and that's what I want to do and I'm so passionate about that guys you don't even know like that it really sets my soul on fire and YouTube actually even though I was on autopilot it acted as a stress reliever when I would be let's say in law school and I have 15 million assignments guys you have no idea <laughs> and I would be like okay to me like chill then I would make a video and I would edit it and I would I would just feel like my stress has been released and I would feel so nice just editing it and putting it out there like it was a stress reliever it was like a fun hobby I like it like I don't want to quit YouTube I've been thinking and thinking and I'm like I don't want to quit it it helped me during my school time to like release stress and stuff and it just helps me it's just a nice fun hobby to have so wait i don't remember why i've said that oh yeah so that's what i want to be that's what i want to be my career like i want to pursue a career in law but then i don't also want to just leave youtube on the back burner like <laughs> but i also don't want youtube to be my job because my mind cannot handle it and i love the people who can handle it are like wow like mad respect for you guys because you guys when you see influencers and content creators out there it's not easy they have to literally come up with video ideas every week or some even post like three times a week they literally have to keep up with social media all the time they literally it's like a full-time job just like any other it just looks like it's more glamorous but i feel like it's just a full-time job like any other and i don't think i can hack it i want youtube to be my hobby i want it to be a place i can share a piece of myself with you i want it to be a place i can be creative and just create and not care about views and not care about subscribers and not care about how it's i just want to, to spark something in someone or make someone's day or just you know i don't want this youtube thing to be a job although i'm very grateful because my channel just got monetized and I started earning but I don't want this to be a job like for for the money that I will earn through YouTube I can save it up and I've been thinking maybe I could start like a business selling something start selling my merch or I don't know or I can go to like a home and help them that's what my YouTube money will be used towards and to buy like gear like a new camera or you know that's what I'm going to use it towards but I don't want YouTube to be my job because I don't want this to be about subscribers and I don't want it to be about viewership and me constantly checking my analytics like okay who watches this who watches that okay who, you know I don't want it to be like that ever so that's why I made a decision 
drum rolls <laughs> okay i'm not quitting youtube but that's why i've made the decision um to start a new series called positivity a dose of positivity and um that's that's gonna feel a lot more like me guys so what this dose of positivity is going to be it's going to be like a series okay i'm going to have like episode one till like six maybe for season one look how dramatic i am i'm making it sound like it's a netflix series so a dose of positivity is going to be like you guys will just come with me and join me for the journey because it's not like i'm an expert i'm not like mm -hmm, i'm the expert of self-love and self-awareness no it's like you come join me in this journey to conquer my fears you guys like i want to go zip lining i want to have new experiences i want to experience new things in life maybe get a tattoo go out more i just want to have new experiences it's going to be like a journey it's not going to be like a sit down video like this one where i'm like okay five tips for self-love no it's going to be like you guys join me on my journey with this and i'm going to be more raw than i've ever been i'm so scared but it's going to be like I feel like it's going to be a really good journey for me and for us if you're resonating with me because we all want to be happy i know we all want to be happy and we all secretly watch motivational videos once in a while when we're down and we get motivated by those and so i want my channel to kind of have those once a month but in between that the sunday videos that come weekly we can just be doing all lots of fun stuff just want to be doing fun stuff with you guys like if i'm going hiking i'm bringing you guys along with me if i want to get like a new tattoo i'm bringing you guys along with me if you're getting if you're just getting ready and talking before i go out somewhere we're going to do that that's what i'm going to be doing for weekly videos but my monthly videos hopefully i'm going to do this monthly please i hope i have the motivation but for the monthly videos of like a dose of positivity it's where we're going to just grow together and maybe inspire each other and we can talk about i know there's so many things as girls as guys that we kind of hate about ourselves and i have those too because i'm not perfect and i'm never going to say that i'm perfect i'm never going to reach a point where be like i'm perfect but then it's in your imperfections that you find perfection and we can talk about that like some things i hate about my body sometimes I, there are some things i hate about my face my skin my hair and i just want us to grow in that and so that when i look back i can be like that's why you started your channel to that's why you started your channel so even though it's just like i get one person to grow with me in like a self-love challenge i'm planning to do self-love challenges i'm planning to get over my fears i just i'm planning to like edge out of my comfort zone and my comfort zone i'm very comfortable in my comfort zone right now you see in my comfort zone i don't do anything adventurous i don't say anything adventurous i'm terrified of talking in front of people uh, yeah i'm terrified to play violin because I, I think i might not be good enough you know i'm terrified to sing because i think i might not be good enough so this series is going to be about pushing myself out of those boundaries because i'm very comfortable right now you know i'm just here chilling i'm like no i'm not going to do that because i know i might fail so <laughs> no point i'm just very comfortable in my comfort zone and i feel like the magic happens outside your comfort zone like in your comfort zone it's comfortable but it's not magical and the magic happens outside the comfort zone so that's what i want i want to experience this magic of life okay that sounds so cheesy but i really do i want to experience the magic in life i want to try new things can i act i don't know if i can act i want to try dancing we're going to i saw like cheeky has a dance class at k1 clubhouse i want to try that i also saw lod wants to start a thing called anybody can dance i i, I legit want to try that i cannot dance to save my life but i want to try all these new experiences and i want to bring you guys along with this monthly series and yeah i hope you can relate to everything i said or i don't know if i just sound crazy <laughs> yeah but i hope it's going to be like a really fun journey to start and i really want you guys to come along i'd be really happy if you guys can come along i just named it a dose of a dose of positivity after the tea farm <laughs> 
and i hope you guys are going to like the new videos that are coming they're obviously going to take more effort and time to film and edit because i'm always trying to improve my filming skills and my editing skills that's why i feel like they should come monthly and before that we can just have fun with youtube videos like i'm not going to stop doing fun youtube videos like the 24 hour glow up challenge was so fun for me and i would love to hear your feedback and maybe even ideas on it and i'll give you more of what it kind of will look like and i'm just going to try and make it as me as possible so that i can feel like i'm serving a purpose and i'm being completely myself thank you guys so much for watching this video i really love your comments and feedback on this and i'll see you i think next week with a new video like and subscribe if you liked this video and i'll see you guys next time bye